Okay, tip number two, product usage, better be safe than sorry. This is one of the uh, biggest areas that creates horror stories for housekeepers. So pay particular attention to this. Now, um, before working for a client, I will always walk around the property with them and I will identify areas um, and what the surfaces are made out of. So the floors, um, the kitchen surfaces, the kitchen fronts, the bathrooms, the tiles, um, the bath, maybe it's made out of copper and that's a particularly specialist surface. Um, so make sure that before cleaning any property, you check everything. So now when using harsh chemicals, um, it's very, very important that you check the bottle and the label and find out what surfaces it can be used on. However, this can be deceptive as some of the surfaces um, may look like something, but they're not actually that surface that it looks like. For example, um, the, the floors nowadays are so sophisticated and they can look like wood, but they may not actually be wood and may require a specialist product to clean it and ensure that there's no damage made. Now, from my personal experience, uh, once I was asked to clean a camper oven and I thought, oh, it's an oven, so I'll use oven cleaner. So I, I poured the oven cleaner all over the surface and it made the grill area look awful. It, it came out all black and uh, I was mortified and uh, I ended up having to replace uh, this camper oven. And, and luckily there was one more in stock um, in the UK, but you know, it can cause so much heartache and trouble. And um, please, please, please make sure that um, you pay particular attention to this. Um, I use, uh, uh, when I'm not sure, I will use eco cloths and warm water, and maybe with a dash of washing up liquid to help remove some grease. However, do not use a product if you're not 100% sure of what surfaces it can be used on and that you're sure of the surface. Um, I want to mention uh, one thing that for me has been really helpful. When you're spraying um, a, a harsher product on a surface, maybe a kitchen cleaner, um, and you're, you've got a spray bottle, um, it, it may, so when you're spraying the, the front, um, don't leave it for long because if you leave it on a varnished surface, it will leave sp like spatter marks of how you, where you've sprayed the product and um, that will look awful um, if, if that happens to the, the kitchen fronts. Also to the bathrooms, um, so for example, if you're using a product called Vicow, which is um, particularly good um, for lime scale and you're spraying it on top of the, um, the, the say the shower hose, and uh, it can leave blue marks on the surrounding panel um, tile areas and where the grouting is. So be particular, pay particular attention to these areas.